being outside and being barefoot is all well and good when you're in nature out hiking. But what happens when you come into an inner city environment but you still want the freedom of being barefoot? Listen as I take you through my first impressions of these new Gobi boots, what I like about them and should you buy them? As always, if you are interested in these Gobi boots or any of the Vivo Barefoot range, grab yourself a discount using the code in the description and help support the channel. The Gobi is a smart, casual, urban boot that doesn't compromise your foot movement. The sole thickness is 2.3 millimeters and that moves and allows freedom of movement in all directions. And you're not having to compromise even though you're wearing a more formal shoe. The tread depth itself is 1.3 millimeters, which is ample for inner city environment. You're not necessarily gonna go scrambling over big rocks, but it's nice to give you some flexibility in different weather conditions. The boot has been designed to be loved and worn, but come end of life, it's also been designed to be reworn and revitalized with Revivo. So the sole is stitched and that can be taken apart and a new sole replaced. The front is double stitched, so it provides more protection. The weight is 511 grams, so it's not a whopper. It feels ample for this size of boot. It has flat laces, which are 100% organic. It also has two tong slits to keep the laces in place and these cool lace locks to allow quick release taking the shoe on and off. Inside the shoe, it is leather lined and it also comes with a cork insole, which is antibacterial. I've had these boots for a little while now and I've really grown to love them, to be honest. And they've got a very modern, very contemporary vibe about them. They remind me of like a skateboarding shoe, like a Vans high top. They're really wide, one of the widest boots that I've tried from Vivo. Not quite as wide as the Tracker ESC, but they are very close to that. I think a lot of people would enjoy the, the width that they offer. In a previous video, I reviewed the Gobi 3s. If you are interested in the Gobi 3 video, I will link it here. These were a good boot that I've used for formal occasions. They've come in handy for weddings. I prefer the aesthetic of a chunkier boot. I like this utilitarian look, this rugged outdoorsy look. The weight between these is obviously very discernible, the Gobi 3 being substantially lighter. The Gobis have been fantastic. I re do really enjoy the boot, but I found that the Gobi boot itself has given me a lot more options for various scenarios. I've been using these on production shoots. I've been using them in the garden, just doing jobs. Until recently, I was using the Tracker Deacon 2 John John Florence edition, which is a fantastic boot, but the aesthetic is very outdoorsy. I wanted something that was a lot more appropriate for customer facing roles, so these cover a lot more circumstances, especially for inner city use. Aesthetically, I love their chunky, utilitarian nature. I wasn't sure about this sort of modern sway line. It almost looked a little fussy in pictures, but actually, in real life. I think they look fantastic. I love their ability to move. I can dress up and look formal on the outside, but I'm not sacrificing that movement that I desire so much from a shoe. So getting onto the cons of the boot, a lot of this is subjective. I think their looks are a little polarizing just because of their contemporary nature and the additional design flair, but I think it suits the boot. There is a width to the boot that people may not like from a stylistic point of view. The top itself is like an unfinished top. It hasn't got a machine sewn finish around the edge. Personally, I don't mind that. I find it quite light, but I think some people may want something slightly harder wearing because that's a high wear area. Personally, I quite like this light finish. It doesn't bind, it doesn't rub on my ankles. I haven't had an issue with the grip, even though we are getting into single digit temperatures in the UK. Some may find that they prefer a slightly deeper sole. However, if I compare the sole to the Gobi 3, there is a much deeper hexagonal grip to the Gobi boot than there is to the Gobi 3. The Gobi 3 is convex, whereas that's concave. This goes inside the boot and that is external to the boot. So the grip on the Gobi boot is, is far better. Let's be honest, you're not gonna go on a full bore hike multi-day trip using these. They're there to cover eventualities when you're in the city or firm ground. If you are like me and you value that feeling of being barefoot and you're not willing to compromise that freedom of feeling through the feet, through the width, and also the movement of the shoe, even when you are in formal environments or going into the city, then I would definitely consider these. The other boot to think about would be the Scott, which has been recently re-released and I'm very keen to get my hands on those. Those are a classic design, which I've 
lusted after for a very, very long time. And they are more of a classic work boot, whereas these are a lot more future focused, modern looking. Are there any other formal barefoot style shoes that I should be looking at? And as always, grab yourself a discount and help support the channel using the code in the description.